Hello and back guys to another video in the FIFA 23 Rangers player ratings have been refilled so let's dive into them um, to be honest I think the ratings across the board for the Scottish Premiership this year have been an absolute disaster but then again we know it's going to be the same pish every year don't we? Um, but James Tavernier is the highest. I predicted this over in Fog Football because they released like five cards the other day and I went, yeah, he's going to be the highest. So 78 rated. It should be more. Come on, Tav, man. Come on. Alfredo Morelos. 76 rated. Um, I think he's just stayed the same as last year. Ryan Kent. He's just stayed the same as last year. Is what it is. He's a uh, 91 pace. Um, Worth about 3k, so that is on the web app, I believe that would be on. Um, we then have John Lundstrom, 75 rated. John Lundstrom, um, he's went up quite a big upgrade. Connor Goldson, though, he's took a downgrade, I believe, Connor Goldson. He's down to a 75 from a 77, which is about right. Uh, Glenn Kamara, 75. Rare, 75. Don't really know how, to be honest. Uh, we then got Ryan Jack. On a uh, 74, he's went down, McGregor's went down, Kamara Roof has stayed the same, Matondu and Davies. I don't really know about those two because, of course, they weren't at Rangers last year, so I'm not 100% sure what the ratings were. Um, Stephen Davis, he's went down, 36 pace, you'll have to avoid that. Borna Barisic, 73 rated, Redfan Yilmaz, 73 rated. Um, Barisic, not with, not with much pace on that card, but Yilmaz, 85, that's a decent wee... Uh, a decent wee number. Yanis Haji though. 73 rated. It's a shame Haji's injured, man. I've got to be honest about it. Tom Lawrence and Kolak, the two new signings, both come in. 72 rated. Uh, we've then got Philip Hollander. 72 rated. <laughs> John Sutter. Big match John. Our own big match John. Uh, in at 71. Sakala. This guy's been downgraded quite a bit. He's a 71, which I think is uh, fair enough. Scott Arfield, he's a 71. John McLaughlin's a 70. Scott Wright's had actually quite a bit of an upgrade to a 70. Uh, James Sands is 68, which I think's a bit unfair because James Sands is actually one of the Rangers' better players this season. Like People probably don't want to believe it, but it's the truth. And Malik Tillman is 64 rated. That's quite low, isn't it? That is quite low, actually. Severely low. It is very low. And then Leon King is the other player on the other side of the game. 56 rating there. So let's just go back to the uh, the previous page. So of course these are going to be the career mode uh, ratings. So I mean that's a good thing to know. But the, the, I think the web app opens today guys. So I'll be on that. Don't you worry about it. No. So there's that down there. Tillman. Only two bronzers. A lot of silvers. How many golds? Six golds. I believe Celtic have got about the same. Craig Gordon's the highest non-rated old firm player, which is probably about right if we're being uh, totally honest about the situation. But it is what it is, guys. Uh, these ratings, leave your thoughts down below. They're exactly spectacular, you know. Um, I did kind of think with the whole Europa League run, would they, you know, boost range a bit? A few players have been upgraded, so to speak, but a, a majority have uh, stayed the same. To be honest, but it is what it is. I'm looking forward to FIFA this year. Five days away, Tuesday. Uh, career mode will be out. Uh, I might make some fids on the web app. I'm not really sure, to be honest. I might, I may know. It is what it is. But anyway, guys, leave your thoughts down below. That'll do it for this video. Like, comment, subscribe. And until next time, that's been Jesus and peace.